Hi everyone, this is your Sussex County Chiropractor, Dr. Will Holdsworth from Pain Relief Chiropractic. I'm here with Mackenzie today. Mackenzie's a new patient. She has never been here before. You were adjusted when you were a little kid, right? Yes. And hasn't been adjusted since then. She came in here today with uh, neck pain, five to six out of 10 on a pain scale. It's a dull ache unless she turns her head, then it's a sharp pain. She's also getting a little bit of pain in the back of her skull, kind of at the top of her neck where the skull and the neck meet. Um, we already did an exam. We're going to do some muscle work and we're going to do some adjustments. Uh, we're going to go on your stuff. Uh, actually, you're going to stay seated first. We're going to do okay. some muscle work, okay? All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your arm. You're going to go from here. Go across your chest. And then when you get there, grab the elbow with the left hand. Grab the elbow with the left hand. Okay. Yep, and pull tight. Good. And then come back toward me with the right arm. And forward again. As you do this, let me know if the pressure I'm applying is too much. Nope. And I'll lighten up. And then also let me know if like the motion is bothering you. We can also alter that. Nope. Very good. And so I never met Mackenzie before. Today is the first day I've met her. And she mentioned that she watches chiropractic videos on YouTube. <laughs> so that's why we're doing a video. I said, well, do you want to be on the other side of the camera today? So here she is. You, you said you watch Gregory Johnson? Yes. Gregory Johnson is, uh, if, you, if you don't know him on YouTube, I'm sure most people watching this know him. He's uh, quite a character, and he's a really good adjuster. He's uh, over in Houston, Texas. ton of videos. <laughs> and we'll do a couple more. You doing okay? Yep. Good. And one more here. Good. And relax that down. So did you go to Penn State? Yes, I'm an alum. Nice. Do you like it? Yes, I miss it. Yeah. It's only been a year, so. Nice. Still getting used to adult life. And are you from this area originally? Yes. Okay. And with her job, she looks down a lot. So she, this is great because you started experiencing these yesterday. Yes. And she's in here today. So the likelihood that I can help her significantly on this first visit is high. Um, people who take a long time to go to a chiropractor, especially after an auto accident, which is not what Mackenzie dealt with, but if you go to a chiropractor right away, it gets better so much faster and you don't have to keep going back and trying to keep fixing it. It's those stubborn pains that don't go away that are, are a little difficult, like five-year pain that I've seen, although that was better in five visits that was kind of unique but it definitely is smart that you came in here right away so cool. kudos to you thank you one more here and relax that down and just before we started filming she said she's going on roller coasters what at the end of the month yes and uh so she doesn't want to have neck pain for that obviously so she's here so that she can enjoy that so she's planning you're smart <laughs> that's good Doing okay here? Yep. And so that spot in the back of your skull that you feel, where okay. I asked you, is that like a headache? Is it? You said it's kind of different? Yeah. That's like a, you'd call that like a suboccipital uh, headache. It's right below where the occiput is in the skull. Your skull's made up of multiple bones. It's not yes. just one big one. And uh, the occiput is what is in the back of the head where the neck meets, basically. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of people get that when they get neck tension because it just goes right up in there. But you didn't do anything out of the ordinary yesterday? No. Nope. It just sort of showed up? Yep. I showed up, did my job. At the end of the day, I was like, oh, that's not normal. Yep. And one more here. Good. Okay, I know you can't move your head that much, but we're going to tilt back and forth ear to shoulder like a okay. metronome. But stay in a comfortable range of motion. I don't want you to go too far. So start to the right and then to the left. And go as far as you can comfortably. Do not push it. I don't want you to feel any pain. This is for the traps. We've been doing muscle work only so far. So we did the levator scapula muscle. The supraspinatus was the second move with the arm in the air. And this is the trapezius. All these muscles 
are a factor with this sort of issue that Mackenzie's dealing with. And one more. Good. Tilt left and then right. You work in five days a week? Four days a week. Nice. That's smart. Yep. What days are you off then? Usually Wednesday. Okay. But this day it'll be Thursday, or this week it'll be Thursday. Gotcha. And then you have the weekends, yep. the Saturday, Sundays. Yep. Yeah. So nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Do you work long hours the four yes. days? But it's worth it, right? Yeah. Usually nine or ten hour days. But yep. it's not bad. It goes quick. I think that's going to become a more and more popular thing for both schools and companies. Let's do one more here. Good. Now we're going to go on your stomach face down. Okay. And relax this arm. Okay. There's an arm rest for your right arm, kind of where you'd expect to find it, lower. Oh, there it is. Yep. Pressure's still good. Yep. Doing okay. Good. And you're using your arms a lot for work too? Yes. Yeah. It's all arms and back yeah. and portals. You guys are super busy this time of year too, right? Yes, this is busy season. Yeah. So did you, you worked yesterday out of the or ordinary. You're usually yep. off Wednesday. Yes. Some sort of re other reason than neck issues. Was, yeah. yeah. Just crazy season, so. Your body's all thrown off, huh? Yep. <laughs> all right, we're going to get adjusted here. All right. Go ahead and breathe in and breathe out. Uh, breathe it in out here. And one more here. Good. One more here on the bottom. Breathe in and out. On your back, face up. That was glorious. <laughs> Good, good. These tables are so narrow. Yes. And they kind of have to be, especially for like this move here. Yeah. Where you roll over. Have you seen this on? Yes. Yeah. This will feel good on the low back. Breathe in and out here. Oh. And go flat on your back, bend your right knee. And we're going to switch the grip. A little more rotation. And breathe in and out. Oh. Good. And the most important part for you, the neck. Yes. So these are a little louder. Yes. Um, because it's closer to your ear, basically. Yeah. We hear in like two different ways. There's bone conduction, and then there's air. So like. You know how, like, with a, in a pool, for example, you're underwater, you hear something, like, go down, it's like, yes. it's like a different sound than when you're above the water and you drop something. Yeah. It's kind of similar to that. Bone conduction, you know, we're moving the joints and stuff, and it travels up and goes into your earway, and you're like, oh, wow, okay. This is a little bit different, but I always kind of give someone a disclaimer there. So I'm going to check rotation. Oh. Yeah, tight that way. And to be honest, you're moving more that way. If I forced it and tortured you, you'd go further that way. But this way, you're more restricted. We check the lateral flexion now. Mm. Tight. Ah. Yep. So we're going to go up here first. This won't hurt. It's going to be a little light. Relax this here. Oh. Good. Good. <laughs> now we're going to walk down the neck. Not too far of motion. Oh. And try to relax as best you can. 
<laughs> and we're going to go over to the side, one more here, let this go. You can move a little further now because we've opened up some joints. Oh. <laughs> and let's go one more. Good, oh. and let this, good. Oh. Okay, let's come up. And oh. we're going to see how you feel. Go ahead and try. The rotation was the worst. Yeah. Oh. I Any... can move my head again. <laughs> uh, Any pain left in there? Just a tiny bit right here. Right there at the top of the yep. neck, low uh, skull area. Yeah. What motion do you feel that with? If I, like right here. Okay. If I look down that way or, yeah, that way too. More this way. What I want you to do is look straight ahead, and then I want you to look down to the left, and then I want you to come back up straight ahead and look down to the right. And you're going to go back and forth like that, and try to really look down. Try to make the pain happen when you look down to the right and down to the left. What this does here, this is really interesting. This is like retraining the nervous system here, causing different little fibers and neurons to fire a little differently here so that when you move you don't feel it anymore hmm. and we're just stimulating the area by rubbing this on here and we're going to do a few more what was the pain level before we started doing this right when you five or six well before oh, oh. yeah before this probably like a two a two you were went to a five or a six to a two and all that pain is just localized to right there And it's not even that bad. Okay, now I want you to sit up straight, and I want you to do that motion without me rubbing it. Yeah. Anything left? Nope. Complete zero. Complete zero. Promise? Yes. Cool. All right, well, that's everything. Thanks for doing the video, Mackenzie. No problem. That was really fun. Um, I'm Dr. Will Holdsworth from Pain Relief Chiropractic, your Sussex County chiropractor. Thanks for watching, everybody.